Jesus, the Divine Physician. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. March 20th, 2023, Monday of the fourth week of Lent. Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace, during this time of meditation, that all my intentions, actions, and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your Divine Majesty. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 4, verses 43 to 54. After the two days he departed to Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, having seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the feast. For they too had gone to the feast. So he came again to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And at Capernaum there was an official whose son was ill. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and begged him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Jesus therefore said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders you will not believe. The official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go, your son will live. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and went his way. As he was going down, his servants met him and told him that his son was living. So he asked them the hour when he began to mend. And they said to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. The father knew that was the hour when Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he himself believed and all his household. This was now the second sign that Jesus did when he had come from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. Do you approach the Lord Jesus with expectant faith for healing? pardon and transformation in Christ-like holiness? Isaiah prophesied that God would come not only to restore his people, he would also come to recreate new heavens and a new earth. Jesus' miracles are signs that manifest the presence of God and the coming of his kingdom of power and glory. The Lord Jesus brings healing and restoration to those who trust in Him. Jesus' miraculous healings show His generous kindness and extravagant love, a love that bends down in response to our misery and wretched condition. Is there any area in your life where you need healing, pardon, change, and restoration? If you seek the Lord with trust and expectant faith, He will not disappoint you. Surrender your doubts and fears, your pride and guilt at His feet, and trust in His saving word and healing love. Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today.
prayer. Lord Jesus, your love never fails and your mercy is unceasing. Give me the courage to surrender my stubborn pride, fear and doubts to your surpassing love, wisdom and knowledge. Make me strong in faith, persevering in hope, and constant in love. Amen.